Give me Ciroc 1929. Because there was a statement made that you can't you can't uh, judge a person by their looks. So we're going to go into the scriptures and find out. Either we're going to do what the Lord say, or we're going to do what we want to do. Right. Give me that. Ciroc 1929. This is the book of Ciroc, Ciroc chapter 19, Ciroc. verse 29. A man may be known by his look. So we know you by your looks. We know what you're doing wrong. We know you're breaking the Sabbath. Right. You know you ain't supposed to work today. Today's the Sabbath. Give me, uh, no, let's finish that. Read. And one that hath understanding by his countenance. And we can tell that uh, the communities here lack understanding of the Bible. Why? Because we can physically see it. We can physically see it. We can see that you don't love God. We can see that you don't keep the commandments. We can see that you don't keep the Sabbath. We can see that you got your head covered when the scripture's coming out. We can see it. Give me Numbers 15:38. We can see the errors that you make. Why? Because we went to this Bible and learned it and corrected ourselves. And now we're out here showing you what you need to do to get the kingdom of heaven. Wait. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Throughout your generations, that's forever. That's a simple commandment. But we don't keep it. No, that's a simple commandment. Keeping the Sabbath day holy, right. not working. Women not wearing pants dressing like men. Bring it on. Hey, you know what? You know what? Give me Ezekiel 16 and 10. Give me that. Give me that. Because we're gonna we, 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 we finna show our people how we used to be and how they are now. Give me Ezekiel 16 and verse 10. Read. Come on. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 10. I called thee also with broad work. The Lord gave us immaculate, immaculate uh, 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 clothing, okay? We had drip, right? Right? Read that again. I called thee also with broad work. Read. And shot thee with badger skin. Read. And I girded thee about with fine linen. He girded us about with fine linen. But what do we do? What do we do? Jump to 14. Verse 14. And thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty. For it was perfect through my comeliness, which I had put upon thee. Stand. So our, our beauty was perfect through the Lord's comeliness. Okay? But what do we do? What do we do? We got men dressed as women. We got, we got, what, what is that? What is the eyebrow thing they put on? The come brothers? Those is, for, those is prostitute wear. But no, our sisters, we want to follow the other nation. That's what we want to do. We want to put on, we want to wear the hair like the white woman. We want to dress like men. Give me modest apparel. And, uh, uh, give, me, give me that. That's what we want to do. We don't want to do what God says. We want to do what the white man says. That's what we want to do. Because why? That's your God. You don't want to serve the God of white men. You don't want to do that. What we want to do is serve our oppressors. And we've been doing that since we got off them damn boats. Give me that. Give me my apparel. So, we're going to show you, we're going to show you today how God wants us to be. This is the book of 1 Timothy 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel. What is modest? Clothes that don't show off your behind. Clothes that don't show off your curves. All right? But not any kind of clothes. Because women, pants were not made for women. Right? We're going to get to that. Read in. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel. Modest apparel. Something that doesn't show off your curves. Something that doesn't, uh, is too revealing. That's considered modest apparel. I'll give you the precept. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and, uh, 5. Give me that. Give me that. Because they're going to learn today. Because a lot of our women, all of our women, if you ain't keeping the commandments, you dress like a man. You're cross-dressing. Just like the, uh, they had some drag queens and stuff then, you're basically doing the same thing. Right. You're dressed as a man. Right. This is the book of Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. The women shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What pertains to a man? Pants. Pants were created from men. That's where the black woman learned to wear pants. From their God, the white man. That's where you learned it. You didn't learn it. You didn't learn it. Uh, uh, when we got over here on, uh, off the slave ships, you wore, we, the women wore dresses. 
it was into what the 1920s, 1930s that they started pushing women, the women's rights movement for women to wear pants. You learned that from your oppressor. So you was in slavery with us, and it was like, oh, let me do it. I don't know nothing else, so let me follow my oppressor. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Read again. The woman should now wear that which pertains unto a man. You should not wear that which pertains unto a man, right? Read, because now, now, now that we covered that part, this also goes for the men too. Watch this next part. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You got men running around dressed as women. You got men running around dressed as women. Wearing dresses and underwear and carrying purses. The hell is this? What kind of a grown man is going to walk around with a damn change purse? You got makeup in there too? Come on now. Read again. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So how hard is that for a woman to not dress like a man? How hard is it to not cross-dress? How hard is it? Okay. You might say, oh, oh, I'm at the job. Uh, give me that Esther 16. I think it's Esther 16. Start at verse, I think, 14. Good. I'm going to be real with you. You ain't never seen this kind of love until today. None of our, our people hate correction. They hate the fact that we tell them they're doing something wrong, and then they laugh and make jokes about it. Like, no, you're wrong. Get yourself in order. Christ is on his way. Give me that. This is the book of Esther, 14, verse 15. But deliver us with thy hand, and help me, and am desolate, which have no other helper but thee. Thou knowest all things, O Lord. Thou knowest that I hate the glory of unrighteousness. You see that? This is a Queen Esther. She hated the glory of unrighteousness. She hated wearing the clothing of another nation. She hated following that. That's how your sisters should think. Y'all should think like that. Y'all should think, hey, where do we learn to do the things that we do? We came over here on slave ships. We wasn't doing that then. So where are we learning these activities from? Where are we learning to uh to uh to be equal to the man. Where are we learning that uh uh feminism uh uh, uh put you above the man? Where are we learning these things? You learn it from your oppressor. That's where you learn it from. Right? And abhor the bed of the uncircumcised and of all the heathen. Thou knowest my necessity. For I am born the sign of my high estate. So she hated the position she was in. If you read the story, she was married to a, a heathen king, right? She hated that position. Read. Which is upon my head in the days wherein I show myself, and that I abhor it as a mistress rag. She said she abhorred the thing she wore as a mistress rag. She hated that thing. She hated that thing, but because she was in captivity also, she had to wear it. But outside of captivity, let me see, is there any more, anything else on that? And that I wear it not when I am privileged by myself. So outside of her captivity, what did she do? She dressed like an Israelite sister. That's what she did. All right. Now, that's a that's a that's first step, some easy steps to follow for repentance. Because you can always, once you repent, you can leave that job and find you a job or something where you don't have to work on the Sabbath and you don't have to be forced to wear pants. You can do it. We just got to put effort into it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart 
The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth